Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Hunter's ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. on the inside. Hunter's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Oh, how about that? Comes back with a power punch of his own. A well-timed right hand by Crusher. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something... Hunter's in bad shape. Able to get him up against the ropes. Solid. He just fought the other guy's fight. And now, it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Pulled the trigger on that overhand left. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Scores up top with a left. Like a sledgehammer, that uppercut by Tiger. Rusher's coming off a round where he scored big. He scored the knockdown. I suppose right now he's got to think to himself, Teddy, how did I do that, and how can I do that again? He should think that to himself. That's what his corner's there for, to remind him. You know how you did it? Do it again. Solid left hand to the head. Tiger's out there the for another round after being knocked down in the last round. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged, but what about those 60 seconds in the opposing corner, Teddy? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, when we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him. But he's not going to show you. He's going to act like a pro. He's going to con you. He's going to act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he showed it, even if he's not showing it. That is a strong uppercut there. Solid hook upstairs. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. An accurate left by Hunter. Right to the belt line. Okay. 
accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Little head hunting with the left. Hits him in the mug with the right. Bang the body! Protect yourself! Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Smacked up top. Come on, baby. Yank it up. Keep going. Round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with you here, ringside. Teddy, you know, you really got to admire how accurate he is. I mean, he makes the most of what he throws. Yeah, he makes it count. This is a guy who doesn't want to waste anything. Well placed, straight right hand. He missed with that headshot. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth the right hand. A sharp and precise headshot by Tiger. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Well-timed by Crusher. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. That was a miss by Hunter. Rushers tagged. 90 seconds to go here in this round. A stabbing right hand by Crusher. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good flush shot by Hunter. Left landing well. Good flush shot upstairs. That's a solid right hand by Crusher. Crusher's bang by a big uppercut. Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. Solid right by Crusher. Last 10 seconds of round number three. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Hunter. And that's beating. I need you to throw more than one. This is a fairly competitive, tight fight. The difference being, of course, we did have a knockdown score as you look at Teddy's scorecard. And that's what professional boxing is about, putting fannies in the seats. The harder puncher, the guy who's more effective, the guy who puts more hurt on you, gets the round. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Scored well up top. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Well, you go straight back, and you're going to pay a price. He paid a big one there. A solid one-two combo left-right by Crusher. Crusher's jam by an uppercut. Uppercut, uppercut, left and right. Takes left one to right. give one. He comes back with a right hand. <laughs> and now he's targeting upstairs. Move your head. Tiger's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Just 10 
seconds to go in this round. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. Three minutes gone by in this round. Rusher's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Sharp and accurate one-two by Crusher. line with the right hand. Tiger's opponent has to be conscious of the uppercut. I mean, it's been a consistent weapon of choice. Well, it's the right weapon on the inside because he's split the guard. It's right there for him. And he's hitting him with the floor. What I mean by that is he's actually using the ground. He's grounded. He's got his feet down. He bends his knees. And all the power is coming from below. Rushers left. Working well that time. Commits to the straight right. You see how he comes over the top with that left hand. Well placed shot there. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Hunter. Good solid one two by Crusher. left hand a little head hunting with the right coming to the end of round number five last ten seconds and that's the end of round five we hear about guys being calm and cool when the pressure's on with that eye completely shut the pressure is on yeah this is where you're really ultimately being tested as a fighter, as a human being, as a man. Well, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Forward, adelante. <laughs> nice block. Rushers impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Very good work with that power hand right there. Good, strong, straight shot. So effective as a power shot. Yeah, it is. And he's pivoting into it. Look at the way he's turning on his foot. And he's putting his back into it. Beautiful. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Crusher. Downstairs with a right hand. Good looking uppercut that time. Crusher's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Crusher's nailed by a shot upstairs. What an uppercut. Keep working, he returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Come on, keep There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Committing now to the left hand, good straight shot. Solid right by Crusher. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. The end to another where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. Right to the body. 
Job staying away from the danger there. Nice defense. Good block by Crusher. Halfway through the seventh round. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Hunter's right hand scores well that time. Scores up top with a left. Nice strike after catching one by Tiger. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work. Hunter's been hurt. Tiger. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? Three, four, five. Hunter's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Good solid overhand left. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Stay away from the power, okay? Keep circling away from that power. And these are the hazards of boxing, as you can see as we start round number eight. Yes, it's an even fight, according to Teddy, but he's been damaged badly, and that means he has to worry about being a TKO victim. Yeah, he might have to start rolling those dice a little bit. And when you start rolling the dice, yeah, you could get seven, but yeah, you could crap out. Crusher's rip to the head. Tiger's going with the mentality that, hey, yeah, I went down, I got hurt, but I can do the same thing back to you. But he's forgotten that if he started this fight, it wouldn't be this way. He'd use his jab to set up punches. He'd be smart. That would give him the chance to land the big one. He has to remember that. It's hard to remember that, though, when you've been hurt. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Little head hunting with the left. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Not able to land the headshot. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Fighting, snapping shot by Hunter. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. What an impact that left hand just made by Crusher. Good flush shot upstairs. Really on the mark with that overhand left. And round eight comes to an end. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Boy, watch the movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Great yeah. movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. What an impactful left hand by Tiger. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Crusher. 
Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Nice work! Nice work! He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Rushers ripped by an uppercut. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Crusher. Crusher is doing well here with that two punch combination. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Tiger. Good way to protect the midsection. Tigers on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. And that's the end of round nine. One of his eyes is completely shut. They want this fight to continue on. They want to give themselves every chance they have to win it. What do they need to do? Well, what they need to do is be very calm in the corner, get pressure on that touch, get the right medicines in there, and maybe find a way to pull around in the corner somehow, dump some water, you know, in the corner, where the referee has to spend a little bit more time cleaning it up. They want to get a little bit more seconds. Rusher's now switching things up. He was knocked down earlier, so now he's going to try to take a different course. Now, that tells me, if I'm his opponent, a couple of things. Either that he's very clever, that he's making a little switch, or it just gives me confidence that he's desperate. You know, he's never done this before, and in my mind, I'm saying, I got him right where I want him. Damage done on that power shot to the head. Dropped his hand, paid a price. A solid left hand by Crusher. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Tiger. Right hand downstairs. Missed the body shot. There it is! Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up two, and continue on? Three, four, five! Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Harry brings the jab right hand. Oh, and there you go. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. The final bell of this bout, a fight that no fan wanted to see end. Let's hear from the judges and see which way this one's going to go. Hunter. Hunter's work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.